I'm not gonna keep any of this stuff because I'm going to have all my inventory set once I get to the fishing village. I know this. But, just for fun and giggles, I decided to massacre every single mob in the Tower of Linden area, this area, for about three to five times. Some because I did die along the way to grinding myself up like this. Others just because I... The rest just because I was resting at the shrines as I was progressing through. And yeah, so here's what I look like. I got the 82 Bastard Sword, which is a far cry from the usual 70 that you get with these sort of things. I have the Battle Axe. Um, this is the 119, this is the 122 version. And yeah. And I have the Great Helm. I have the Breastplate. I have the Gauntlets. The Pants. And even the Greaves. And all of these, by the way, are the uh, best versions. As you can see here. Anyway, yeah, so now, and I also fully stocked up on medicine and mostly on stones. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Also, I really want to get this armor set again. Kind of reminds me of Solaire, except I'm missing the feather at the top of my helmet. Actually, you know what we could do? Since we're already done with the entire area, we could just go through this door, go down these stairs, and go that way. But yeah, I very slayed every single mob. Okay, let's put them all up for a second, I was gonna say. Kill all the guys through there, as you can see that little item thing. Give me an item. Hey, is that guy. So yeah. You know, I just gotta kill the people up here. Shit, move. Go ahead and pick this up. Huh? 
maximum familiarity with each of the bastard sword. And you can actually reach this boss two different ways. Be a secret of the sun. Let me show you what these stones can do. First boss fight in the game, and he already has two lives. I do like that though, the whole reviving him, making him look like an absolute badass and insane. It's time for your execution, you guys. I'm in the court. of the game that you're gonna hear over and over and over again. Two years' voyage. The Helloff was lost. The trow sank. While the hope vanished without a trace. The good news of the Blyder boats hap was nothing but lies. Only leaf that remained. Twist. A 
what awaited us in the far east wasn't love. I love that line. It was monsters of death. Because the leaf was called love, the ship he was sailing on. Into the title card. Yep. Before I begin my preparations for landfall, I leave once more through that curious book I had changed upon. Recorded inside of the mem memoirs of a sailor who had once paid visits to Langer's Pongo. Precisely how this document wound up in the hold of this ship when its author clearly belongs to the crew of a different boat is beyond me, but here I am poring over its pages all the same. And not for the first time this voyage, I may add. Fascinated me above all else was the memoirs many accounts of Angus of Earth's armor and weaponry. So, one quick thing here is you get to choose two weapons out of these five that you see here. But you gotta be kinda careful with it because the first one you pick is gonna be the first one you get, and then obviously the second one you choose will be. The second one you get later on in the game. Well, it's in the same area, but you know. Um, so I'm gonna go with the sword, just because I really like the sword. And I know I might go for du dual swords, but I really hate that they're like. Uh, it's not symmetrical, you know. One sword's longer than the other one, so. Go with the sword. And the sailor from the memoir seems to have. Spent quite some time in this upon game and succeeded in keeping the company of samurai. He writes in detail of establishments in this upon game called Dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instruction in the martial disciplines. Just reading the sailors of every account, I feel as though I am in there in the flesh watching these warriors as they train. The samurai is the master of many armaments and trains for combat in every imaginable scenario. If I were to use another weapon, which would I use? choose um and i'm going to choose the kusarigama the mama the memoir also asserts that the sword and knowledgeable in, martial, in the martial arts first they know which fighting stance to use in each situation high mid or low second after each attack they re ready themselves to the next strike by focusing their key or inner energy third once their key is ready the samurai can use purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. I know not how to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts and have experienced it, experimented many times with each technique. The memoir states that Pongu is home to 8 million gods and our deities. Exactly how this figure was derived, I can only imagine. But as I cast my gaze to the shore, I'm struck by the sensation that some mystical, mystical power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that reminds me of Sar Sayars. I don't know. I'm sorry. I pull out the memoir once more and survey its each page until I arrive at the Guardian Spirit that best matches the force I am sensing. There is. Kato, a wolf and guardian spirit of the fire elemental, strengthens the attack and power of those in its protection. The Isonade, a shark and guardian spirit of the water elemental, implies the ability of those in its protection against enemies. And the Daibawashi, a hawk and guardian spirit of the wind elemental, increases the evasive abilities of those in its protection. Most importantly, it's a, it's basically a green, it's just, it's basically a green fucking phoenix, so that's what matters. All that matters, dude. So we're gonna have plus one heart, plus one dex, and plus one skill. Um, I know it's probably gonna be a little annoying, but I wanted to do a tutorial mission just so I can live through the experience of smacking ninjas four times in a row with the smack sound effect they have. And yeah, it's crazy. This dojo is a training ground for samurai. It is filled with the blood, sweat, and tears of the uncounted warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. These long traditions are secrets, and, and secrets are handed down from generation to generation of samurai. I mean, because, like, look at this, though, dude. It's awesome. You 
and you like literally go here and get your wooden sword. I don't know, I just really like how much attention to detail they pay to the Japanese culture. Wooden sword and we proceed to the next tutorial. Attack, quick attack, square, strong attack, triangle. The quick attack is fast. Is fast and doesn't consume much key, but it only causes light damage. A strong attack is powerful, but consumes more key and lowers your guard. If your key rate reaches zero, you'll not be able to attack until it recovers. So there's the quick attack, and that is a strong attack. Watch this. Let's see it's in the next tutorial. Lock on, lock on R3, switch target with the right stick. And when you lock onto an enemy, your camera stays focused on the target. It also displays target's health and key. But yeah. We proceed to the next tutorial over here. Guard a one and dodge with X. Let's we'll see the next tutorial right over here. Stance, switch stance, high stance, R1 plus triangle, mid stance, R1 plus square, low stance, R1 plus X. High stance emphasizes attack power. The lots are powerful techniques. Mid stance is good for defense. It has a wide range of techniques and is easy to use. Low stance is good for dodging. It doesn't have so much key and also maintains your guard as you move. That guy. And proceed to next tutorial. The key poles, key poles are one while, while blue lights gather around you after an attack. Key poles requires your key, the amount varies based on your timing, and the maximum amount is determined by your key gauge. We proceed to the tutorial. Okay, it's down, I'm ready to memorize key poles. There we go. And proceed to the next tutorial. Yokai Realm and Purifications. Yokai Realm, another world born from the Yokai. When you are in the Yokai Realm, your key recovery speed is greatly reduced. Conversely, the powers of the Yokai themselves are enhanced there. Purify. Recovers the maximum amount of key from a successful key pulse in the Yokai Realm. It also cleanses the defilement of the Yokai Realm from your person, restoring you to normal. Appreciation is taught and she added memory to memories. Boom. And proceed to the next tutorial. Next. 
Street Snack tutorial. Oh shit, sorry. Weapons, living weapons. When the guardian spirit and renegade is full, press circle and triangle. Guardian spirit skill when a living weapon is active, press circle and triangle. Triggering of living weapon changes the health gauge and key gauge into the living weapon gauge. As long as the living weapon gauge is active, you are impervious to damage and your clone and, and your close combat attacks inflict more damage. The living weapon gauge decreases over time and when the enemy attacks and when enemy attacks land. Once the gauge is fully depleted, its effects wears off. Well while a living weapon is active, pressing circle and triangle will perform the guardian spirit unit skill. So for example he was KO closed. Since tutorials have been completed, and so now we're gonna go here. Yeah, yeah. go forward. Goodbye, Dojo. I shall return one day. This will end the tutorial. The tutorial mission. Proceed. Yep. And here we go. Okay, absolutely. The dinghies have been ready for us to make landfall. For all I have read on this on this country, nothing can truly prepare me for what now lies ahead. I put the memoir down and leave my cabin. Kushima is a tiny island off the coast of Yusuke and Kyushu's Longo province. There is little in the way of usable land, with coastline rapidly giving way to the, to the cliffs and mountains. Clinging to its edge, the smallest of fishing villages, it just in its eking up subsi subsistence, or su subsistence, uh, I don't know, frankly. I know which one of the two. Substance, I don't know. Farming on plots carved out from the hills, their frugal lives stand in stark contrast to the village elder who's opulent. Mansion perches atop the island's tallest peak, strangely oversized for the small island which it overlooks. Ah, oh, well, there's Chad. April 1600 used to be Let's go ahead and pray here. Get 
small spirit. So if we go over here. And I'll pray to the shrine. The almighty Gordana. Quite sure what I was driving the crowd. There's a 250 Marita. Actually, it's just enough. I want to make sure we're connected to online. Okay. Um, do we level up? I mean, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's put the first point in the body, which affects life and resistance to poison and paralysis. Weapons mainly affected spears. Okay. So now let's do this. A little corpse here to investigate. And now we have Isuke the Brick. It's a br bloody grave, so a quick tutorial for how these layouts um, work and what they all mean. A bloody grave is the grave of typically a player, but it can also be just some NPC mob thing. Um, they're tougher than usual mobs that you'll find throughout the area but they drop better gear as you can see with the two yellows being the legendaries and the three blues being the rares it has a difficulty level which is two out of five in this case it has a level like the level that they are and they're level three and then it shows you the cause of death which is in this case drowned and yeah And excellent. So now we have Pirate Armor El Cote, the Pachoco, and the Pirate Armor Large. He's a Euro. Euro A. He's a Euro A. So this will go from 0 to 5. And this will go from 1 to 9. Okay, that's kind of overkill. Okay. Here are the foot charger and um, medium cement and foot charger armor and uh
just gonna just go ahead and get this three stone. to do. Sacred water and guide the Kodama back to shrine. Basically, what this is, you're just assisting the little frog dude, and eventually he'll give you a blessing. And typically, the harder they are to find, the better the blessing it gives. And you can only have one at a time, so meaning if you replace, if you use one, it replaces the last one you had. But. Mm -mm. Go here and get whatever this is. We have here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one points proficient for proficiency with a sword, and pick this up and get the spies to Siragama. Go here and fight Zipongu, who is level 5, 2 out of 5 difficulty, and he was cut down by Outlaw. But look at that, everything he drops is legendary. It's amazing. And since he's of, since he's, he bears the same name of the Mystical Land, uh, I figure, let's go ahead and show him. The power of our weapon. Oh boy. Oh god, that killed us. Oh, we almost had that though. We almost had that. When a warrior falls in battle, his guardian spirit disperses and him. In his amorator colossus into a grave. Should he touch it, the guardian spirit and amorator will be restored to him. Not yet. Let's actually go ahead and get the Amrita first. Because it also saves the progression of the Guardian Spirit. Is the Kakudama. 
which I have no idea what that is. A charge of gunpowder wrapped in Japanese paper when insufficient in, in munitions. It explodes when thrown and damages all enemies in the area. Altering the amount of gunpowder will change the strength of the blast. Okay. See? That's why. It's only an arrow, but, you know. All the same. Tough. Took off both his arms and his head. Still points for, for since she was a Sargama. Okay, so now let's start off with this guy. Play Grave, the Big Punisher 1, level 4, difficulty 2 out of 5, cut down by Outlaw. And if it has a death date right here, then that means that's how you know it's a real player. Or at least like a phantom of the I don't know how that works quite yet. Soldier armor and Jingasa and the Bison in into the corner. Uchigata. And here we have the blade grape of Revero 1989, level one, level one revenant. Difficulty 2 out of 5, cut down by Outlaw. Okay. an increase just for a second and Pongu again. Garden Spirit to protect the worthy and give them an advantage in battle. Should you fall in battle and lose your Garden Spirit, you may be able to summon it again at a shrine. For a um, Casa and Rita, of course. Okay, 
that's what I'm gonna do here. I just go get it now. And speed run to it, you know? Their ability to receive Kadama Blessing has been unlocked. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll do this for an extra 70 health and a samurai skill point as well as plus one damage on the Saragama, which affects life and resistance to poison paralysis may affect the spheres. I don't know, if I see something breakable, I'm just gonna break it, okay? Ooh, big one is sure on level 4, one half I do a full take up in my outlaw. Sure, let's fight. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be easy. Ten glory, nice. Here we have the Blade Grey Lou Rangba 
Rung Ball, which is level 3. Uh, 123, which is it. Long Ball. No, Long Ball 123. Level 3, 2 out of 5 difficulty. Pause this round, okay. Let's go. Now I have the Golden Makote and the Leather Kazane. Unlimited ammo? Unless the Leather Kazane. A forger material used by blacksmiths. Small sheets of standard leather portal and connected together. The fundamental building block of armor, white weight, and easy to move in. Okay. Just because I don't have anything left, I think I might summon somebody. Oh, wait, that's gonna mean. Okay, well. In that case, let's see here. Um. Let's receive the... Mm. Let's receive the Warrior Blessing, which increased the armor drop weight by 1%. And then we will... Summon a Warrior... Summon Visitor. Offer him a chocolate cup and summon a Visitor. Go a small sermon cup for drinking sake. Using it to make an offering, a sermon summon a visitor. When the visitor arrives, it will take the cup. Got sacred salt. Invoke visitor will remain active until you stop the offering. What? Give you the tip. Nice, dude. What side? There we go. Okay. 
Jesus Christ, dude, you're a god with those things. Somebody over here? Yeah. Lord Escanor, here we go. This is what you get for watching anime, Plebeian. Jesus Christ, dude, how?
Okay. What? That would have been amazing. Holy shit. Beware your surroundings. Attacks from behind are particularly damaging. Converse the target and opponent's back. We'll give you the advantage. One second. <laughs> 